In recent years, the discussion surrounding mental health has become a lot more apparent in society, which is a great thing to see. However, there's a couple of areas where we can still improve even further. One of these prime examples is on male mental health. By looking at some of the facts and figures that are beginning to emerge over recent years, we can really see how much of an issue this is in our current society and how much of a devastating effect it's beginning to have. When exploring some of the underlying issues behind why male mental health is on the rise in recent years, we can associate a lot of this down to mental health and the conversation of mental health, sometimes mistakenly being associated as a sign of weakness, when in fact we know this is not the case at all. Having a conversation about mental health and being open and honest about your mental health is, if anything, quite the opposite of a sign of weakness, particularly in our modern society nowadays. If anything, it's showing an acceptance and encouraging and inspiring others to come out and join this conversation. I can relate to this issue particularly, this feeling of perhaps being apprehensive or fearful of being judged in a different way or being perceived in a different light, when in fact nowadays you will find that everyone is so understanding. As part of breaking down the stigma that we can sometimes still associate with mental health, we should feel comfortable and open and honest to be able to have discussions about any underlying concerns or issues we may have surrounding our mental health. I know that for me, for instance, I have anxiety and I find that if things get particularly stressful or things start maybe getting a little bit overwhelming, then just having a simple conversation and being honest with things can be such a great reliever and be such a great tool to manage in my mental health. Now the topic of mental health and everything associated with it can affect different people in an array of different ways and particularly nowadays in the current climate that we're in, undoubtedly it's a test on everyone, it's going to be straining on everyone and it has undoubtedly proven to be a test for a lot of people which is why it is so important that particularly and when we find ourselves in these environments that we work together and talk to each other just a simple thing like checking in on your friends once every so often can be a great relief to hear that they're doing okay as quite often some of the people that are struggling the most will unfortunately struggle in silence now undoubtedly as I mentioned mental health isn't something that's exclusive just to the male population like I said, it's a global phenomenon and it affects different people in different ways. For example, university students, on this day of University Mental Health Day, we can see that 27% of university students reported a mental health issue, which is a drastic number and it shows that we really need to work together. Within Loughborough University, there's an amazing range of facilities, resources and acts of guidance and support out there for all students to engage with. For example, you've got the amazing volunteers at Nightline for any queries and concerns you have. You have the amazing support teams, so such as the wardens, you have part of the medical centre, you have specialised counsellors who will see you and act as a form of support. Even just the Loughborough family as a whole within your halls or within lectures. Undoubtedly, as university students, one of the big reasons for perhaps feeling a bit low in your spirits or perhaps just not feeling quite up to things is stress. Stress is a big part of university. In addition to some of the amazing strategies and ideas formulated from the Welfare and Diversity Department in the university, here's just a couple of general pieces of advice that I've found personally really helpful for dealing with any stress during these uncertain times and beyond, and hopefully it helps you as well. So coming in at number one is speak to people. It sounds simple, but just speaking to people, having a conversation, engaging in a chat, can do absolute wonders for your well-being. Number two, try to engage in any societies or any sports, whatever is your fancy, whatever you get enjoyment out of, just try and engage in it, be active. Coming in at number three is just trying to take a step back. So sometimes just simply taking a step back from things, having a deep breath and viewing things from a different perspective can make you feel a lot better about certain situations as un understandably. Sometimes it can feel like things are overwhelming, there's a million and one things going on at one point in time, but simply by taking a step away from things and then going back to it can relieve these feelings of overwhelmingness. This ties into number four, which is try and stay positive. Now, I know this is a lot harder than it sounds or I'm making it seem, but simply easy things like looking at all the amazing things you've done in your life, looking at all the amazing work you've done, looking at all your greatest moments and how much fun you've had, even in your worst moments, can just bring you up and make you realise that even in the worst moments, when you can find yourself struggling, that there's always going to be a good end to things. And finally, at number five, is don't be so harsh on yourself and allow yourself some me time. Like I said, sometimes if you do something wrong or you're feeling overwhelmed with stress, 
you can feel like, oh, you never get anything right. When in fact, it's normal to make mistakes. Nobody can be perfect. And sometimes we can be too harsh on ourselves. So whatever it is you enjoy, a couple of things I mentioned earlier, like sports and societies, if that's not your cup of tea, then just do something that you enjoy will give you a state of calmness and a good state of mind. So that nicely sums up a couple of the points I wanted to mention in my video today. Last thing I will just leave you with, particularly for those who may be struggling at this moment in time, which is completely normal and completely understandable, is if you can, just try to take a sense of control. So what I mean by this is if you can, after watching this video or a couple of days time, doesn't matter when, but just try and take that first step towards opening up, engaging in that conversation, because although the first step's always the hardest, believe me when I say that it really does get easier from that point onwards.